building behind me, patients are having hydrotherapy treatment, acupuncture and massage. Now you might think I'm about to swan on in there and join in, but you'd be wrong for two reasons. Firstly, because I'm not a dog, and secondly, because this is one of Britain's first rehabilitation centres for pets. And it was their pioneering use of an underwater treadmill for obese dogs that first brought the centre to the public's attention. Working the aqua aerobics today is Marble, who is recovering from knee surgery. So you're starting with quite a slow pace. Yeah, just like a human athlete, we're warming her up initially, just getting the joints working, and then we'll speed her up during the treatment so that she's working a bit harder against the resistance of the water. This is exhausting walking through water, isn't it, as a human? So yeah. it must be a dog too. Absolutely, it can be quite tiring for them, so we monitor the treatment accordingly, but equally it's actually less stressful than walking on land, so it's a really nice way to exercise. What sort of injuries or reasons would a dog be in this? Um, a lot of what we see is post-operative, for example, knee injuries, cruciate injuries, but we're also seeing more spinal, we're seeing more animals that have been in accidents, for example, car accidents, to help them walk again and regain more function and strength. And the work of returning injured animals to a better quality of life is continued in the centre's operating theatre. So, Patrick, what does this impressive instrument do? Well, this is a 2.4 millimetre canine ultrascope, and there's light that comes in, and then there's a camera attached, mm -hmm. and we use this for looking inside of dog stifles or knee joints and these are actually the pictures from within the dog's knee. We're using this probe to just trim back all of the damaged portion of the medial meniscus or that cartilage inside the knee. We can do so much for them now that we couldn't beforehand and because it can be done as a minimally invasive procedure those older dogs aren't having to go through extensive open surgeries many of which the owners aren't keen on. Jake is an older dog with arthritic knees and his owner, a GP, has chosen a rather more unorthodox treatment. He was in a lot of discomfort and we were actually thinking of putting him down and the local vet said why don't you try acupuncture? You're medically trained so were you at all sceptical about acupuncture? I'd had it myself. Mm. It, I'd, I'd never believe in putting you know, patients and, and your own animal through something unless you've done it yourself, to be honest. And I was very sceptical. I had it for a knee problem. Somebody said, come on, I'll do this. And it was brilliant. So I thought, well, don't ask me how it works. I haven't a clue, but I couldn't care less. On humans, acupuncture is gaining support and in some instances is now being used on the NHS for drug-free pain relief for conditions like back pain. So what's wrong with Chester? Chester had surgery on his neck just over a week ago, so I've just used six needles just either side of where the operation was. What are the advantages of using acupuncture for pain relief over traditional drugs? For dogs that are intolerant to drugs, it's, it's brilliant, it's really, really useful. Obviously too, you're not going to have the side effects of, of the body having to get rid of a drug, it, it usually has, has no side effect apart from drowsiness and tiredness afterwards. He's looking incredibly relaxed. Do you have to have specialist training in order to do acupuncture for animals? Strangely enough, you have to be a vet to do acupuncture in dogs, but almost anyone can do acupuncture in people. <laughs> These extreme vets have adopted alternative and highly technical innovations, pioneered in human healthcare and given to animals who would have formerly been written off a new lease of life. Some say that putting animals through human treatments is extreme, but for dogs like Prince, the results have even made the headlines. And for once, this was a story with a happy ending. Having reached his target weight of 35 kilos from a whopping 75, he went on to win an award as Slimmer of the Year and was adopted by one of the centre's nurses. But as there's no canine NHS, this type of treatment doesn't come cheap. At the moment, intensive care like this is only available to owners who are prepared to pay a premium for the treatment of their beloved pets. Good boy.